Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger, and of course, welcome back to another episode of Disney Planes. Thank you guys for the amazing response on the first episode, or episode, I should say. <laughs> Thank you guys for the amazing positive response, and I really, really do appreciate it. So without further ado, of course, welcome back to the story mode, and I know, I know what you're saying. At this point, story, we haven't really gotten a lot of it. So uh, hopefully we will get a little bit more story in today's episode, and I think uh, that since we played like as Dusty during the kind of tutorial, mission on the last episode I think it would be best to just kind of switch things up and the one character that I am most excited to play as is El Chupacabra because I don't know he just looks like a Lucha Libre Lucha Libre sorry wrestler and everything like that so uh, I love wrestling so to me this should be a very very fun character to play as so without further ado let's give it a go shall we Ooh, and it looks like there's gonna be a couple of missions to do here so first mission is Super El Taxi Cabra <laughs> Which, uh, I guess we're gonna be acting as a taxi cab. Uh, I guess, uh, that's what the little explanation there is. When party pities are tired flat, Super El Taxi Cabra is on the scene. Don't forget to tip. Alright, let's hope we don't forget to tip. And there's a nice little image of, of course, El Chupacabra. With a big smile on his face, ready to do his job. As, I guess, Mr. El Taxi Cabra. <laughs> I don't know why, that would be a really good YouTube name, I think, for some sort of a taxi show. Okay, so it looks like there are different uh, logos, that, uh, sorry, medals that you can get. Bronze, obviously, with any time. Silver for 4 minutes and 15 seconds, uh, or less, or more, sorry. Uh, gold for 315, and then, of course, if you get under 2 minutes and 15 seconds, you get platinum or probably diamond uh, medal, which is cool. Get a load of this photo. It's El Chupacabra. I heard this guy's a huge celebrity back in Mexico. He's a hero there because he'll do anything for his loyal fans. And since he's convinced that everyone is a loyal fan, El Chu often finds himself very busy helping everyone out. El Chu. That's a good little nickname. Bombastic laugh. That's an awesome description for laughter type. Whoa! To keep up with me on the dance floor has left these pities too tired to roll home. Not to worry, the great El Chupacabra will offer his assistance as El Taxi Cabra. Okay, so I guess we gotta get this magnet. Whoa! The weather is really messing me up. Okay, so what am I? What must I do now? Powers of attraction will be unstoppable. Let the legend of El Taxi Cabra begin! Okay, you Which just let me what you want me to do. the honor of being El Chu's very first passenger? Him? Her? Ooh, I can't decide. How can he tell their gender just by looking at them? They all look exactly the same to me. I guess that's why I ain't El Chupacabra, or El Chu for that matter. Congratulations, okay. amigo! You have the honor of being my first passenger! Where, are we going Where must I deliver him? Help! Whoa! Pick up and drop, drop off pity. Okay, I guess this way, right? Oh, okay. Let's get him up. Up, 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 and away! It looks like he needs to be delivered to this little castle here. Okay, let me speed boost my way. Okay, so... May you sleep tight and awaken tomorrow ready to embrace the day like a gigantic hug. Welcome uh, aboard the greatest oh taxi my God. service in the world. Where careful, careful, taxi? careful. Damn, the wind. The wind really does mess you up. I tell you this. Whoa, okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea with that speed boost there. Okay, I just went outside. Outside this castle here. Now I gotta make my way back inside. Okay, there it is. There's the delivery point. Looks like he needs to be delivered right down here underneath the bridge. Okay, there we go, buddy. I'm here. Thank you. Job well done. Gracias, señorita. I sincerely hope that he was as This makes me remember of Taxi Cab, uh, Crazy Taxi. <laughs> taxi Cab. Remember that game? If you guys ever played it, let me know in the comment section below if you've ever played Crazy Taxi. Uh, I think it was a it was pretty much in every arcade. It was a very very popular arcade game. I know that practically every arcade in Israel had uh, had that game, and uh, you could find it very, very easily, and uh, it was very readily available. So, oh! Welcome aboard the greatest taxi service in the world. Where do you rest your times? 
Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to be a bumpy ride, my friend. You better tip well, though. Because this is a dangerous ride. Whoa, look at that. You can even do a 180 with him. As a customer. That is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Imagine if someone drove you like that. That reminds me of that movie with Adam Sandler also. Uh, Don't mess with the Zohan. Where he takes a job as a limo driver. And he delivers the guy uh, to his uh, hotel opening. But the guy just throws up all over the place. I remember that. Okay, so we're gonna drop off this buddy right here. Oh, okay, I get it now. Every time you get hit, or every time you do any type of damage or stuff like that, you lose points. So that's the problem. And my goal is to get to, obviously... Um, sorry. 900 points, I guess. To complete the mission, which is uh, not an easy task, to be honest. It seems like uh, we're already three minutes, so I'm uh, probably not gonna get gold, obviously. Am I supposed to just fly slow? No. Faster flying means faster delivery. Faster delivery means I just drop him off. Thank you. And I'll see you later. Adios, okay. You ever need a Let's go down here. Whoa. Again. Oh my goodness. No, what are you doing? I shall Come on. <laughs> Not where I want to be going. I want to go down. Down, I said. Down to the bottom of the sea. Down. Okay, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horrible, horrible driving experience. There we go. Finally. Ooh, look at this. Going through the sewers. Okay, go. Speed boost away. Alrighty. So I'm going to try to... Really? That was the best taxi uh, ride you've ever had? What kind of taxis have you been riding, my friend? Oh, okay. So if I do tricks... I guess I can regain those points. That's the idea here. Now I got it. Oh my goodness, there's such a quick way of getting all these points done. Oh, now I feel like I'm a fool. I must listen to the rules a little bit more in a more tentative manner. Okay. So let's get this buddy up, up, up and away over here. Okay, there we go. Can I deliver you down to this area right here? Come on. Give me a way to boost up my points. All right. And time for the drop-off. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Adios, amigo. If you ever Come on. Service, oh, I didn't grab him? Again. Just whisper my name. Okay. It's okay. We'll grab instantly. someone down here. Here we go. Look at this nose dive. Not a good idea. Oh, yes, got him. Okay, so now we gotta head this way. And almost there. Just a nice little short ride. Relaxing, you know. Uh, get ready to uh, land, my friend. You're about to be delivered. Great job. Another job well done by Super El Taxi Cabra. Indeed. Wow. He is good to his fans. Yeah. It's not every day you get a taxi ride from Mexico's leading telenovela star. Speaking of which, El Chu's new flick is on TV tonight. Guerra y Pasión en Tienda de Comestibles. Let's go check it out. Wait, doesn't that mean war and passion at the grocery store? <laughs> that's, um, that's an interesting uh, telenovela, that's for sure. War and passion at the grocery store. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, great. So we only earned a bronze trophy because I was a silly buffoon who didn't realize how the rules work. But I will not let down El Taxi Cabra ever again. Alrighty. So, um, I guess we continue. We'll come back to the mission. Don't worry. Uh, we will probably do one where we get diamond. Diamond levels like a boss. Because I'm a diamond in the rough or whatever the heck that song goes like. Okay, the next mission is Ticket to Ride. Isn't there a board game called Ticket to Ride? I believe there is one. It's because I watch a lot of tabletop with Will Wheaton, which you should check out because it's fantastic. Alrighty, what happens when a freight train challenges the mighty El Chu to a race across the desert? El Chu brings the heat. Where I'll, uh, I guess I shall bring the heat indeed. Here we go. The loading screen of doom appears once again. It would have been nice if they changed up the images. That would be really cool. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of making Train the loading tracks? screens fun. Does this have to do with Dusty's close call during the Wings Around the Globe race? That was in the Himalayas. 
The vast, barren desert would suggest this is a different locale. Different locale, different train, and a very different plane. Alrighty. So it looks like our times are, uh, the best time would be a minute and 15 seconds, which sounds kind of crazy. So I'll definitely strive towards that, but I can't promise anything at this point, to be honest. You think you are faster than the infamous El Chupacabra. You are truly one loco locomotive. Well, okay, so I guess I just got to go through these go off the rails because lines. Is on. Oh, God. Okay, I'm hitting the checkpoints, I which is... I throw you, of course, with sheer charisma. Whoa! 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 Okay, this is crazy. Because I'm just holding the boost button without a stop, so... It's making me nervous because it feels like this train is certainly going very, very fast. I never knew that regular, well, freight trains move this quickly. I thought they, they were usually a little bit slower. I guess just because this train isn't very loaded uh, with cargo, that's why it is able to maneuver quite... Quite quickly. Okay, do not want to be losing my speed at this point. That would be really sucky. Come on, go! Go, 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 go! Okay, that is very low. I am very close to the train. Whoa, what the hell? Did a train just hit me? That is ridiculous. Come on! Yes! Awesome! Awesome, awesome. Like a boss. So I guess these are different kind of stories in the lives of these characters. Friend, but you never stood a chance against the speed and agility of El Chupacabra. Also, you are <laughs> Good point. He is a train. There we go. Achievement unlocked. A silver medal. Achievement unlocked. A gold medal. And achievement unlocked. A platinum medal, which is exactly what we were rewarded with. And look at that. We unlocked ourselves the free flight for Iceland. Sounds cool. I guess now we could go into free flight mode into Iceland, which is pretty cool. We leveled up into amateur ranking. Very cool. That reminds me of uh, the Sonic Kart Racer game. Uh, I know that there are a lot of things about this game that reminds me of other games. Because they really kind of borrow different features, it seems like. But hey, if you borrow things from a fun game, there's nothing wrong with that. And um, I remember how there you had to level up your licenses, if you've ever seen that. Alrighty, so next up we've got the twist of... Fate, El Chu must race through tornadoes to win the big race. So let's hear what the story behind this very weathery race. Bum bum bum! Exciting music, or exciting? No. <laughs> Wrong choice of words, and that's what happens when English is not your first language. And I should stop singing any minute now. That's a great shot of Prop Wash Junction. I bet having a local turned racing superstar like Dusty has really put your hometown on the map. It sure has. We even get visits from international celebrities now, like El Chu. Of course, the last time he visited, the weather changed so fast, everybody got caught off guard. All right, so here we go. Twist of fate. Ooh, this looks like it's our first race, because as you can see, if we get first place, we will get our platinum trophy. Uh, and second gold, third silver, etc, 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 and so on and so forth. Okay, so forward, sorry. Okay, so here we go. I guess we gotta hit these checkpoints, right? He passes through the first checkpoint. Nice job. Alrighty. Oh god, so it looks like Dusty's in this race as well, right? And, uh, who else? I can't quite, uh, make that out. I think it's the Bulldog, right? Right up at the front there. The he is Come on. The of a Whoa, racer. no. You pop the balloon. Not good. Okay. Staying in the front. The and takes a new spot closer to the top. Okay. There we go. Whoa, going it. through. Coming oh, through. Whoa, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. But I thought I'd drop that Gate missed. That sucks. I'm sorry about that. Yes, there's a speed boost. Oh, there we go. Nice. Finally. Nice. There we go. Come on, another boost. I see it. Now I just gotta get to it. Whoa! Okay, that was very fast. Whoa. Okay, this is crazy. 
Ugh. Come on, make it through, make it through. Yes. And... Ooh, okay, they popped that. They popped that, that wasn't fair. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yikes. Damn it. Not even a tornado oh. can keep El Chu's spirits down. Except for El Tornado, the luchador. Yeah, he crushed El Chu the last time they met in the ring. I would have never pegged you two as wrestling fans. You know it's all staged, right? What? It's still real to no. me, damn it. Some people will get that reference. Most won't. So let's see how we did. In the twist of fate. Bulldog finished first, Ishani finished second, and we finished third. El Chupacabra. Fantastic. Ah. I wish we would have finished a little bit far ahead, but um, we did what we did. And uh, we could definitely, we could have done better. I should have been looking for more speed boost and less not running into uh, checkpoints. So here we go, the final and last mission for El Chupacabra. It is titled Air Force Juan. El Chu plays El Capitan Chu in the feature film Air Force Juan. Can the heroic captain foil a villainous plot to destroy an aircraft carrier? So this sounds like something where we will get to use some weapons. So we will become a fighter jet. Uh, or a fighter... I'm not really sure if... Th this is not a biplane, is it? I don't think it is. Does this qualify as a biplane? I'm not certain. I'm not a very big aviation expert, so... Not certain, but let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear any information from you. So it looks like if we earn over 3,550 points, we will earn ourselves a hey, diamond, Bob, sorry, platinum trophy. Did you trophy. catch El Chu's latest movie? Was that the one where he saved the orphans from the villainous long haul truck during a mudslide? No, this one starts out with El Chu helping a carrier that's surrounded by mines and out of fuel. Okay. <laughs> Fear not, dear carrier in distress. Captain El Chupac Juan is on his way El to Chupac the Juan. <laughs> okay, why did the mine just appear? Well, they will not get away with it. For I, so what must I do? Good guy hero shall get my trusty Magneto Gargantuan. Okay. Whoa. Wait a minute. No, no, no. We must turn. Okay, let's turn. I said turn. No. No. Okay. So, to witness as I, Capitan El Chupac Juan, will deliver your fuel units. Okay, fuel units to the rescue. Okay, so I should stay away from the mines, obviously, as you can tell. Uh, they blow up and they cause a big boom boom. Not fun fun. I must be careful when bringing the fuel. There are nasty no good air mines up here. Okay. I'm gonna stay away from them. Whoa, whoa, pull it up, pull it up. Yes, got one. Okay, second one. Coming right up. Man, these mines certainly do uh, leave off a very strong explosion. Look at that. I love how you could go right down to the water and it leaves kind of like a cool little uh, splashing effect. That's cool. Okay, so gonna grab that. And then we're gonna go kind of the longer route, I guess. This is the far longer route. Okay, there we go though, that was fantastic, because we avoided pretty much every damage that we could have taken there. Okay, now I'm going to come back down, avoid the explosions, or at least attempt to avoid the explosions. Didn't do such a good job of that, did I? Okay, going to earn speed boost for the win. Alright, so there we go, we've got our last and final fuel cell. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cover a couple extra time boosts right over here. Whoa, there's a tornado there. Did you see that? That thing wasn't kidding around, was it? All right. So, by the way, how the heck did this uh, helicarrier come in here when there are so many mines? How did it get here to begin with? Or did someone just drop all those after it arrived? Whoa, okay. So now the... Uh, Volcano seems to have erupted. The ceremonial cannon! Ha ha! The tables have turned. Once again, the wind is pushing me towards victory. Sounds like a plan. So let's grab that, and here we go. Now I am locked 
Mr. Loaded. Little minds. You are mine. <laughs> Where are they? I must be very careful when triggering the pins on the giant mines. Attacking a giant landmine is like bowling. You must first select your cannon, then aim at the right pin. Touchdown! Perhaps I should Whoa. take bowling sport before making such a middle. Haha! <laughs> See! Excelente! Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Okay, so that worked somehow. Uh, yay, yay. Okay, turn around. Uh, careful. It's very difficult. I shouldn't use the speed boost right now, should I? I should just focus my fire. Come on. If I just hit... If I just aim for the circles... Should be able to tag them just fine. There we go. Fantastic. Go, finally, to the last one. Go, 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 go. Okay, come on. I know we can do this. At least somewhat can do this. Okay, one more. Yes, got him. Oh, no. <laughs> that will be interesting. That reminds me of that episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd where uh, he was trying to land. Okay, so here we go. Come on. Oh, how do I do this? What do I do? Go to the next objective. Okay. Oh, just fall. Oh, okay, it's gonna be that first person landing thing. Oh, I don't like it. I do not like it. That's for sure. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? This is gonna be interesting. Okay, preparing for landing. I like how we still have the cannon. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay, why is it so hard to land? <laughs> if I knew it was this hard to land, I'd never say that I want to be a pilot. Oh, rough landing? Really? I mean, I got four out of the five. Damn you. Now that was a good movie. Really? I didn't buy the volcano. I didn't motivation. even land. I just smashed into the boat. <laughs> so El Chupacabra just gets to hang out over there, I guess. All right, that makes sense. Not really, but whatever. Okay, so it looks like we're going to earn ourselves the bronze trophy in this scenario and level up from amateur, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, never mind. We didn't level up. We're close to leveling up from amateur to the next ranking. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of, of course, Disney Planes, give it a like rating. And, of course, on top of that, let me know which character you would like to see me play as on the next episode. We've got, of course, Dusty. The Bulldog and a Shawnee available as our current options and three more characters will become available as well. But that being said, again, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a like, rating, share the video with your family and friends, and favorite the video. I will catch you guys next time. Have a fanfully fantastic day, night, whenever you're watching this. Enjoy the rest of the summer, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a fanfully fantastic day. See ya. Laters.